Hi everyone, um, this is Sarah again um, speaking to you on motherhood from an African woman's perspective. A few days ago, I was at a park when I witnessed uh, two young girls, very young, they could not have been anything, I think between 13, 14, 14 highest. And these young girls were wearing very short uh, dresses. And then what surprised me most of all was that they lifted up their dresses, bent down and started to twerk in a park in broad daylight. At first I was so shocked, I was with a friend and I said to my friend, can you, can you see that? Do you see, what, do you see what is happening? And she said, what, what, what? And she turned around, my friend turned around and her mouth just hung open. And of course it would have been okay, easier if the guy, girls were just doing just one off and you think they just want to do a little shock being silly and run off but no these girls who walk around the park people were sitting everywhere open up their skirt they were playing music so they open up their lift up their dresses bend down their asses ex exposed they were wearing tongues and they were twerking brought their light and i thought to myself oh my gosh who are these girls who and who are the parents more especially and then the worst of all was that these girls was were sitting across from a main road and not what they would jump in the park open i know lift up their dresses twerk and then they jump up to where the men the cars were passing and they would lift and they would just back the main road and lift up and they're twerking everyone was so shocked young girls and i sat there and said to myself you know a couple of weeks ago, we all, I learned something happened in Austria where a 13-year-old girl, you know, went home, you know, with, uh, with a, a, a guy that was 18. She was 13. She went home with a guy. And obviously, this guy had planned it. When she got there, there were four other guys or three other guys because there now were four guys in total. And she was raped and then strangled. And I'm thinking to myself, this is a 13-year-old girl who went home with the guy on her own intentionally 13 with an 18 year old and then she was raped and she was murdered and of course there was such an uproar it was a terrible thing but then here i am seeing four two young girls doing this and i started to say to my 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 my, my friend because it was obvious that they were trying to also attract the attention of a group of young boys sitting by and it was getting dark and i said to my my friend these girls are behaving like this in a pack full of young boys there are some of those boys who might not be like who knows how they're brought up who, no, who might not be such people with integrity and i bet you when it goes dark these girls are going to be mishandled and so mothers and i'm just putting it out there i started to ask the questions what are mothers teaching their children because oftentimes like i said in one of my postings recently young girls speak communicate differently and the way they communicate sometimes especially when they're going through pains they communicate in ways that are just illogical maybe they are going through pains and they're shouting screaming for attention and for them this is a way of getting attention the attention they are shouting for and unfortunately the kind of attention they would then get would probably be the kind that would land them in something very serious maybe even being raped or maybe being even killed so mothers out there when your children are not with you do you know what they're doing are you speaking to your children are they hearing you most especially are you hearing them are you creating space for the children for your children to speak to you and when they speak to you do you actually hear what they're say saying to you or are you hearing what you want to hear because I'm thinking, when I was watching these young girls yesterday, I thought to myself, this is not normal. There must be something going on in the minds, on the heads of these two young girls. There must be something. Why would young, two young, no, very young little girls disrespect themselves so? What are they watching? What's going through their minds to really basically expose themselves in public and twerk and laughing and, you know, just going about, just acting a hot mess like they say? It was so shocking. I just kept thinking, oh my goodness, the parents, who are the parents of these girls? Do they know where these girls are? Why are these girls behaving like this? So I just thought I should throw it out there, mothers. When your children are outside, when they are not at home, 
do you know where they are? Do you know what they are doing outside? Because oftentimes when we hear of a situation like I said happened a few weeks ago, it's all good, we all act shocked, but there's a root cause of some of these things. Something else must have happened before what happened happened. Something must have gone into the mind of, must have been going on in the mind of a 13 year old girl who deliberately went with a, a boy who was 18 or probably even above. And even, even if it was just that one boy who raped her, think about it, it would still have been something terrible. That's someone stronger than her, overpowering her and violating her. So mothers, please, ask yourself this question. Am I hearing my children loud and clear? And if I am not, why not? Until next time. Uh, if you like the video, what you're hearing on this channel, please, as usual, press the subscribe button, like the videos, notification button, so next time I have a video out, you'll be one of the first to know. And on, on this note, until next time, here is wishing you good parenting.